Hello, welcome to Gymnastics at Home. I hope you're all well. So today we are going to do a short warm up. We're going to do some stretches and then we'll look at our gymnastic shapes. We will then quickly learn a routine um, that we're going to add on to each week. So I'm going to put some music on and hopefully you guys will be able to hear at your end. Um, if not, just put some music on that you want to do your warm up to. Okay, just follow along. I'll shout out the instructions as we go along. Make sure you've got plenty of space and that you're safe in the environment that you're in. Good, so stop by I my heart about one, two times, don't need to question the reason I'm yours. I'm yours. Good, feet together, jumping. I know the earth will lose a fight just to say a smile, cause you got no flaws. No flaws. Get your arms in with your legs. I'm not trying to be your part time lover, sign me up for them full time, I'm yours. Good, keep going. I'm yours. Good, back to jump. What a man gotta do. I don't know about you but my heart rate is definitely a lot quicker than it was before and I'm feeling rather warm so now is a perfect time to stretch our muscles so just follow along and we will stretch from head to toe so in your star shape hands on your hips looking down to the floor good and over one shoulder and the other way Good, and roll your shoulders back. Good, make sure they come up to your ears and all the way down your back. Good, add your arms in. Good, and now forwards. Very good, add those arms in. Good, hold 
cheese sprinkle it out on top sprinkle it to side above behind you all the way around fantastic now we're going to go to butterflies and feet together and flap those wings good nose to your toes off you go hold it down very good and one last flap of those wings Good, fantastic. If you want to go get a very quick drink before we go on to our gymnastic shapes, so I'll see you in a second. So let's go through our gymnastic shapes that we all know. Um, so let's go through our gymnastic shapes together. Our first one is going to be our straight shape. So our feet need to be together and your arms come up by your ears, not out here, right next to your ears. And they are nice and straight up to the ceiling. Your hands aren't together at the top. Let me shuffle back so you might have seen a little bit better. Your hands aren't together at the top, they are just the width of your head, okay? So, do your shape, your straight shape. Hold it for three, one, two, three, and relax, very good. Your next one is your star shape, so let's have a look at your star shape. Your feet are out and your arms are shoulder level, so they're not flopping down and they're not up making a V. They are on line with your shoulders and your chins are up, lovely one two, three. Very good. We've got T shape, so your feet are together and again your, your arms are shoulder height. So again, not up, not down, on your shoulder height. So stretching nice and tall, chins up, hold it, one, two, three, good. Now the next one is a very, very important shape that we all must try and remember in our gymnastics classes is our landing shape, or some of you might know it as magic chair. So I'm gonna face the side. It is our landing shape for when we jump off of things or when we land a jump. So it's, you sit as if you're on a magic chair and your hands come out in front of you. And this is where your landing shape is. 
very important that your feet and your knees are together. If you land with your feet apart but your knees together, you might end up hurting your knees, so make sure your feet are together and your knees are together. Your arms are out straight, on line with your shoulders. This is your landing shape. So we're going to have a go at doing a straight jump into our landing shape. So get ready with me, arms out. We go down, big jump and landing shape. Hold it. Very good. Those that have done gymnastics with me before know that I love to hold your landing shape for three seconds. So let's try one more time. Everyone get ready. And down, big jump. Hold one, two, three. Very good, lovely. Now we're gonna go onto the floor and do our floor gymnastic shape. So I'll meet you down there in a second. Now we've got some space on the floor. Your first shape is your straddle shape. We did this in the warm up. Very, very important that when we do our straddle shape that we haven't got our backs rounded, that we are sitting nice and tall. And wherever your legs are, your arms are sitting over the top, so there's no point in having behind or in front if your legs aren't there. So no matter where your legs are, that is where your arms will sit above. Your toes have to be lovely and pointed, nice flat backed, chins up, looking proud in your straddle shape. Hold it with me. One, two, three. Fantastic. Another shape is our pike shape. We also did that in the warm up. Similar to straddle, nice flat back, chins nice and high, arms on shoulder level, but your legs are together. So you're again, arms, shoulder height, chins up, feet together, toes pointed, looking nice and proud. Hold it. One, two, three. Beautiful, well done. Now our other shape that is on the floor is our tuck shape. Now whoever's had me for gymnastics before will know that there are quite a few rules for our tuck shape. So I'm going to face the side for you. And we know in gymnastics we're not allowed to hug our knees in a tuck shape, are we? We must have one hand on one knee. Very important that we have a flat back and it isn't rounded over. We've got a nice flat back, your chin is facing forwards and your toes are the only thing that are on the floor. So we have to lift those heels off the floor and this is your tuck shape. So hold it here with me. One, two, three. Very good, fantastic. Now, we have two more shapes that we do down on the floor. Here is our front support shape and our back support shape. These are very, very good for conditioning our body and our muscles. You might have seen your front support shape for a press up and your back support shape is something called tricep dips. So we use that for tricep dips. So the first one we will look at is our front support shape. So it's very important that when we put our hands out in front of us, that your shoulders are level with your hands. At no point should your shoulders be here or here. They are directly above your hands, okay? From here, you take one foot back and your other foot back. This is your front support shape. Your tummy is squeezed all around here. What we don't want to see is a seal front support or a mountain with your bottoms in the air, yeah? It's as if if your mummies or daddies or brothers or sisters got a glass of water and they put it onto your back that it wouldn't fall over, okay? Has to be nice and flat. So this one, got to really work our tummy muscles and squeeze everything, making sure your shoulders are above your hands. We're gonna hold this for three seconds, okay? So everyone get ready with me, into your tabletop, and then into your front support. Squeeze everything, hold it for one, two, three. Very good. Even just holding your front support, you should be able to feel your tummy muscles working, okay? Your next one is back support, and the trick to this one is that you sit in pike shape first, so you've got your beautiful pike shape, you show stop signs and you sweep your stop signs behind you. From here, all you've got to do is squeeze your bottom and push your hips up to the ceiling, okay? It will, will work your muscles in your arms, in your bottom and in your tummy, okay? Make sure your toes are pointed to show me your stop signs. Sweep them all the way back behind you. Everyone get ready to lift. We're going to hold it for three seconds. Squeeze everything. Ready? Off we go. Hold one, 
two, three. Very good, shake those arms out, fabulous. So those are our different shapes that we are gonna be working on over the next few weeks, okay? So we're gonna look at straight shape, star shape, T shape, landing shape, one of our most important ones, straddle, pike, tuck, front support and back support. That is nine shapes that you have just learnt with me and we'll be using them in our little routine that we go for. Okay, so that's what we're going to do next. We're going to move on to our routine um, and we're going to do that together now. Okay, so make sure you've got plenty of space and we will start learning the routine. We're going to learn a little routine together and it's to somewhere over the rainbow but Israel's version, okay? So if you want to practice at home before next time I see you for gymnastics then you can do, okay? So you're going to start in your squat position down here. Your feet together, your knees are together. As the music comes on, you just stand up. You're going to take a nice walk around in a circle on your own, strolling around. Come back to centre and your hands go onto your knees and you've got bounces before the music kicks in. Okay? When it starts, you're going to go up and over. One, two, three, four. Circle round with your leg, big kick, one, two, three, four. We'll do that bit again, so you finish walking round, you're bouncing, you big make a big rainbow up and over, one, two, three, four, big kick, your hands come down, your bottom leg is straight, you kick up and over, one, step out, two, kick, three, step out, four. From here, your feet come together and you do a big ripple all the way up and over, down to the floor to finish on your knees. So let's go over that little bit again. You've done your second kick and you've stepped out. Your feet come together, big ripple, down to the floor, down to your knees. From here, you take your leg out to the side and you reach over together. Yeah, so you're drawing a line from your fingertips over here to your toe that's down here. Now, this bit we've got to use our tummy muscles, so really think about squeezing your core muscles. Think about wrapping around to your belly button as if somebody's got a drawstring bag, a, a drawstring bag, and they are pulling through your belly button, squeeze everything around here. So from here, you're moving into your front support position here. Then you're going to jump into squat. From here, you're going to do a quarter turn to face the front again. Straight jump to your landing shape. Yeah, that's all we're going to do today. So let's rewind and recap from the beginning. So you're down on the floor, music comes on, you come up, take a steady stroll all the way round. Then we've got bounces. One, two, three, and then up and over. One, two, three, four. Kick over. One, step out. Two, kick. Three, step out. Four. Feet together. Big body ripple. Down to the floor. Reach out. Draw that line. Front support. Jump in. Big stretch. Jump round to land. Yeah, let's try with some music. So get ready. I don't know about you, but I had lots of fun doing this gymnastics class. I know it's very, very different to what we're used to having in school. We can't do cartwheels or forward rolls, but I had lots and lots of fun doing it. So feel free to send in any pictures of you doing your gymnastics shapes. I would love to see them. 
and get practicing that routine for next week. So I'll see you again soon.